Hi, in the following tutorial is another biology paper 2 exam build up preparation. If you are watching this on YouTube, kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell in order to get notified when next I post a new video. If you are watching this from Facebook, kindly hit on the follow button, share the video, comment on the video in order to grow the audience. In today's discussion, we are going to consider Biology Paper 2, Section B, and that particularly is supposed to be understood as an essay part. When you are trying to talk about an essay, it's important to understand that we are simply to start with the keywords. And the question says, explain into blood disorders. Before we proceed into explaining what different types of blood disorders are, it would be relevant in order to understand the key words and these are blood disorders. Blood disorders are genetically inherited diseases that are associated with blood. And whenever we are trying to talk about different types of blood disorders, it calls for a realization that we are simply talking about hemophilia, leukemia, as well as sickle cell anemia. These types of blood disorders that I have just highlighted should now be able to be explained briefly in a biological to be called paragraph. Let's begin. So I'm going to say explain into blood disorders. Having to target the keywords, we're firstly going to give a title to our paragraph and our answer is going to be in a single paragraph. We are to explain the words blood disorders. So we're going to say blood disorders are genetic or genetic diseases associated with blood. When I say genetic diseases associated with blood, I mean these are diseases that cannot be transmitted from one person to another by virtue of contact or any other means but except because of inheritance. They can be transmitted from a parent onto an offspring. And I explained something about sickle cell anemia. Apart from this, we can also be able to talk about leukemia. And lastly, we are going to talk about hemophilia. When we talk about sickle cell anemia, we are talking about a condition experienced when the red blood cells are having insufficient oxygen, hence attaining a sickle cell shape. And when we talk about leukemia, we are trying to talk about abnormal production of white blood cells, which then leads to cancer. And then we are talking about hemophilia, which is the failure of blood to clot normally, especially when there are a lack of clotting proteins such as factor 8 and factor 9. Since the question has 5 marks, and we just briefly bring to utilization that we've defined the keywords, we are then going at least to mention two types of blood disorders, and for each, we're going to provide an explanatory statement as a backup, which will be kept in a biological way of being explained. Let's begin. So here, we're going to say, there are several types of blood disorders and these or then I'm going to put a semicolon and then I bring it out one we're going to say hemophilia when we put hemophilia we're going to put a semicolon which simply means we are now expected to bring in what hemophilia is all about which I'm going to say which is the failure of blood to clot normally due to lack of clotting proteins 
such as factor 8 and 9. Then, secondly, we're going to say sickle cell anemia. Again, we're going to put a semicolon and then we're going to bring in the actual brief description of what sickle cell anemia really is as a condition which we're going to say which is a condition experienced when there is insufficient oxygen in the red blood cells. Having done that, it simply means we are in line with the expectations of the marker, especially in an exam. And it goes like blood disorders or genetic diseases associated with blood. And then, since that wasn't part of the question, we only brought it out in order to back up the actual information under which this was supposed to be an explained statement. We further had to say there are several types of blood disorders, and these are one, hemophilia. This is a genetic disease which is associated with blood in the sense that it brings about the failure of blood to clot normally. In such instances, only factor 8 and factor 9 can be lacking proteins that can contribute to such a condition. Then we have sickle cell anemia, which is a condition experienced especially in the red blood cells, which are responsible to trap and transport oxygen. If there is insufficient oxygen, the red blood cell attains a sickle cell shape, hence the condition experienced. Fam out there, I hope you find this video very much beneficial and ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and if you're watching from facebook just like i said earlier on ensure you click on the follow button and invite other exam devotees to find the same very video much more benefit and ensure that use the same very relatable concept in order to highlight and be able to prepare adequately for an exam this has been mr sensor from sensor academy school of Titions. for now to in the next video it's a goodbye